Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin I want you to let me hold you for one time Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe Why are you running around in the dark? Were you actually asleep? Of course not. I was trying to save on light bulbs. Haven't slept for about two months. Chronic insomnia. Hypnotism, acupuncture, none of it works. Hi, I'm Sophia Jessica. And this is Angel. And welcome to the fan carpet. Your two leads, um, uh, uh, Craig and, and Antonio, are just electric on screen. So what was it about them that, that told you that, yeah, they, they're the right people to, to play these roles? Paul do, you want to, Paul, do you want to talk about uh, Craig? And I'll talk about yeah. Craig. I mean, I, I've, I've been a, I mean, we all, it's quite a collective process casting as well, but, um, you know, and, uh, but we all had seen Craig's, um, you know, the breakout film, Summerine and things like that. And obviously more recent films um, and his kind of, well, definitely his comedy is brilliant and his wit is brilliant. But what he kind of brings into the room with him is a nervous energy. We we really like that. And, um, you know, he can play anxious, but in a, and this is going to sound a bit rude one, but in a really funny way. Um, and uh, he, so I think, I think it's what, what he, he contributes is, is a is is that 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 energy and wit and and also captures the kind of slight geekiness of the character. I think you can really believe him as a as a music journal an ex music journalist, um, and I think he's got all of those things. So I I, I think we 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 thought he hit the mark on all those. Um, and and Antonia was very different, I think, and very yeah. different background. Yeah. And it's it's interesting that that Craig has a more obvious comic background, um, and Antonia has latterly done so much more drama. But in fact, the the Lisa character there is there is something very there's lots of conflicts bubbling under the surface for Lisa. There's lots of lots of things that she herself feels conflicted about, and that makes her quite vulnerable, you know, to to sort of making the right decisions, making the wrong decisions. And there is something Antonia just can effortlessly do that and and for a character who is questioning a lot of things that might seem very good about her life she's allowed to ask for something that makes her happy um Antonia just does that she makes that immensely sympathetic and um and then we were just gifted their chemistry you know they they uh they clicked so brilliantly and in fact it turned out after we'd started discussing with them and and you know pleading with them to do it um that in fact they had long for a long time harbored a wish to work together and were just looking for the right project so here it was i think also when you know Arabella and paul related this that they really supported each other in the show so each scene had to be shot twice because you've got his side and then you got her side, mm. and uh, they would each come in, and even if they weren't being filmed in the scene, just to perform the other role to help each other out. So they supported each other brilliantly for I think through the mm. Mm. shoot as well. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, yeah, that's wonderful. I, I'm I'm a big big fan of Craig's. I've met him a few times as well. He's, he's a wonderful human being. Um, Lovely guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, um, I'm, uh, is it fair to say that this is kind of a unique take on the uh, uh, on the like romantic comedy um, sitcom? Um, and what was it about uh, what was it about that that intrigued you as storytellers to 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 come on board this project and to, to tell the story? Well, um, I can answer that because Paul brought the project to to me at, at Val, various artists who he'd already sort of you know worked with. 
Matt and Bryce to sort of, you know, uh, Burge to sort of you know, boil this show up. But from my point of view, when it first arrived, it, it you know, it's a genuine original idea. And I, you know, get to see a lot of scripts, and I've never seen a script which has, you know, set itself that challenge of going, okay, this is going to be a sort of almost romantic comedy, and they're going to be in two different places. They can only talk to each other, and it's going to be at night. It's like, okay, well, how how the hell are you going to pull that off then? Mm. And mm. Um, uh, but then, of course, they did. So I think it was a really original idea, um, but set, you know, within a thing of of you know, romance and and comedy so you know not not so out there that you you didn't know where you were yeah i think it's it's absolutely it's it's not conventional rom-com in any sense you know it is a it's it's an emotional comedy that has these romantic leanings where really so often the romance feeling actually comes from the audience because you're really willing something else to happen in addition to the friendship and of course that is a big back and forth process so you know it's baby steps and then regrets and then do I really want this change do I not want this change and do I just want my our friendship just to continue exactly as it is and never change and I I think that feels very true and it also makes it a more compelling watch so my final question is um what you're hoping audience will take from the series when they get a chance to see it when it starts next week uh, yeah. so it is actually it isn't all being dropped all at once so uh yeah. the apple tv plus people are putting eps one to three one two and three go out in a block which mm. uh just by the structure of our show is quite interesting because that takes you to an interesting place in the series story and then we're hoping that the that lovely old fashioned one per week afterwards th that actually also the structure of the the storytelling lends itself very well to that you you have a little cliffhanger and you wish for more each time but i think you, as you get to the end obviously it gathers loads of momentum and we leave it on a big question um but it's actually not obvious where it goes next it's just we hope clear that there is a next and and I and I think by that stage, people we hope will have invested sufficiently in uh, the wants and the problems and the, the challenges, and also some very courageous steps from these two characters that they will want more uh, in the world of these people. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me today, and I look forward to seeing the series and the reaction that follows. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, X and Instagram for more content. Bye for now. Tonight's the big night. First date. I've come with a few ideas. To help her feel more at ease. Why don't you just put a padlock on your flight? I think that will really put her at ease. Because it, what do you mean? Oh, really? No! Mallorca, with the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, 
It's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.